Ever since the announcement of the UAP Disclosure Act of 2023, UFO enthusiasts around the world now believe that the government is definitely hiding something. Some are even convinced that there must be a top-secret division of the government specially set up to handle alien encounters and sightings. If this is indeed true, what kind of a relation do we already have with these alien beings? And if we are still to establish contact with them, what will happen if that meeting ever turns hostile? Are we capable of defending ourselves from such a global-level invasion? Alien invasion has long been the fascination of science fiction directors, with movies like Independence Day and Mars Attack being fan favorites. In both these movies, the plot is pretty simple. Aliens come to Earth, and that results in a full-on invasion. And our military weapons don't stand a chance against their super-advanced technology. But by some Hollywood miracle, we find a weakness or a chink in their armor, and that helps us win the war against these aliens. But will that actually be the case when a real alien attack happens? Are militaries around the world ready to work together as a joint force in case of such an imminent threat? In the event that an alien attack happens tomorrow, the world's superpowers will have to join all their military might to defend our planet against these space invaders. But supposing that the alien species attacking us is really advanced, do our earthly weapons even stand a chance against their superior weaponry? In Hollywood movies, aliens have been shown to have powerful lasers that vaporize their targets. If that is indeed the case, then do our earthly military forces have adequate armor to protect them from such futuristic lasers? It's also sometimes shown in such movies that the alien spaceship has some sort of force field that protects them from outer attacks and missiles. Do we have the advanced weaponry to penetrate such force fields? Also talking about lasers, the US Navy also has its own laser called the ANSEC-3 laser weapon system. It can shoot down a small UAV in as little as two seconds. This laser in its most powerful form might be the only weapon that might be formidable to the aliens. Because as seen in most UFO videos, the alien aircrafts are able to move quickly from one point to another, thus making it difficult to merely impossible for our ballistic missiles to strike them. Even our current heat-seeking missiles might find it difficult to target these spaceships. As a dying measure, we might have to eventually turn towards our stockpile of nuclear weapons, hoping that we never have to resort to the use of this life-destroying weapon. But if ever it comes to that, our best option will be to use the Saar Bomber, which is the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created and tested by the Soviet Union in the year 1961. It yielded an explosion equivalent to 57 megatons of TNT, on this basis of comparison, the Hiroshima bomb was about 15 kilotons, while the Nagasaki one was 25 kilotons. Mere babies compared to this nuclear juggernaut. And even if we used the Saar bomber, it would have to be a mid-air attack, as anything on ground would result in a huge number of casualties. But if the alien spaceship is able to shoot down the Saar bomber even before it hits them, then we are completely out of options. So let's hope that whenever an advanced alien species does make contact with us on Earth, they come with a message of peace and friendship, and not war and destruction. But what do you think will happen if aliens do ever plan to attack Earth for its resources? Let us know what you feel in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Orbit Beyond the Blue for many such informatory videos. Also hit the bell icon to stay updated. Beyond the Blue.